welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. And today I'm going to be doing an empties video and discussing all of the products that I've used up in the last several months and letting you know whether or not I will repurchase them. I don't know how many months ago I recorded a video discussing products that I wanted to use up. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss those products first. I will link that video down below. I actually used up quite a number of them, so I'm proud of myself. You know, pat on the back here for using up this stuff that I said I was going to, right? The first two are the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, the Dark Eraser Circles, and this is the Neutralizer Shade, and then this one is just the Fair Shade. The neutralizer Shade is a little bit yellow, and the Fair Shade is more of a skin tone shade for me. I really liked the Fair one, the Neutralizer one. Sometimes I felt like it was too yellow and it didn't work so I don't think I'll necessarily be repurchasing the neutralizer shade and the fair shade I did really like repurchase it I do have lots of other concealers so I'm not in need of a concealer but if I were I would be getting this Maybelline Age Rewind concealer because it is a good drugstore concealer if you have a warmer skin tone some more of a yellow undertone then I would recommend the neutralizer shade the next concealer that I used up is the L'Oreal true match super blendable crayon concealer and it's like a big chubby crayon. It is a really thick and not very malleable concealer. So I have to say that I didn't really care for this one. It's not good for under the eyes like at all. It's really thick and it doesn't warm up nicely on your skin so that it will melt into the skin. It just kind of sits on top. What I ended up using this for was to carve out my brows. So I would either draw it directly on my skin or take my brush and wipe it on the crayon part and then draw it on my skin to help carve out my brows. I did like it for that, but I have other products that I like much better. I just wanted to get through this product. Um, so I didn't really care for this and I won't repurchase it. The L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. The next two items that I used up are mascaras. The first one is the Benefit Roller Lash and the second one is the Clump, Clush, Clump Crusher Extensions, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Now first of all, the Clump Crusher is a holy grail. I love it. I use it with every mascara. I always use two mascaras and the Clump Crusher is the one that I use on top of any mascara that's clumpy or that I want to add more length or just separate my lashes out. I really like the Clump Crusher and I will be repurchasing it over and over because it's amazing. And then the Roller Lash, the Benefit Roller Lash, I really liked. It has a curved brush and it has rubber bristles. On one end, they're long bristles and the other end have short bristles. So it's a unique design and I really liked it. I liked the way that it made my lashes look fuller and longer and it curled them up and it's a good mascara. So I would repurchase the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. The next item in from the video of items I wanted to use up was the Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation and I am in the shade Ivory and this is a very liquidy foundation and it comes with this it's not really a dropper it's more like a little dipstick I would say kind of like when you're checking your oil in your car and um, it's very liquidy but it blends out to a pow and dries down to a powder finish so I actually really like this stuff I probably would repurchase this next item from the video I think I have only two items left so from the video of things that I wanted to use up and the first is the Lorac eye primer and it's just a regular clear primer that you you know dab on your eyelids and it works nicely I liked it um, you know I use a primer every day so to be honest I, I always feel weird like saying, yeah, I made my eyeshadow stay on all day. All my, my eyeshadow always stays on all day because I always use a primer. So I can't really say that it's better than other primers that I use because it does it does what it's supposed to do. It makes your eyeshadow stay all day and they don't crease and all of that. So the Lorac eyeshadow primer. And then the last thing from my video of products I want to use up is Max eyeshadow in the shade Wedge and I can't show it to you because it's empty but it is a matte cool tone very light brown more like a taupe shade that's really nice in the crease um, so that's mostly what I used it for it's just a good shade to create a nice matte natural eye look if you're not familiar you can back to max so you can take six containers of lipstick or eyeshadow and you can recycle them and you get a free lipstick so I will be back to macking this I will keep it 
and um, when I have six items, I will take them to MAC and get a free lipstick. Now, just because I uh, went over the makeup stuff that I used up, I'm gonna stick with makeup. I didn't use this up, but it dried out, and it is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Turquoise. And it's actually a mint green, it's not turquoise, um, and it has a really fine-tipped felt applicator, but it just, like, it just doesn't work as well as I want it to. On my hand, it's showing up. On my hand, it's like nice and liquidy, but when I try to put it on my eye, if I have eyeshadow on, it just like it doesn't show up. It just like drags my eyeliner and moves it because there's still liquid, but it's just not as pigmented and bright as I want it to be. So I'm kind of bummed because mint green is a color I don't use like every single day, so I probably only use this maybe like four times or something and then it dried out. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing that. Now moving on to my other products that I've used up, not the products from the video where I talk about the things that I want to use up. I think I'll go ahead and start with face products. So this is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser and I love this stuff. I use it daily. I've already repurchased it. It's great. So you pump it into your hand and then when you put it on your face it has a warming effect and it has charcoal in it so that's why it detoxifies and so I really really like it I've noticed my skin is nicer and clearer and just I just really like this cleanser and I've already repurchased I think this is probably my second or third bottle and then I have one that I repurchased since using this so yes recommended um, the next item is, that I used up is the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, and again, this, I will recommend this. I use this every single day. A lot of these products are going to be in a video where I'm talking about my Holy Grail products, and um, I'm not sure if that one, I think that one will go up before this one, so if I'm repeating it, it's because these are my, some of them are my Holy Grails, and this is one of them. The Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, it has really, really fine micro beads in it. I know some people, I've heard people that say they don't like it because it's not, the beads aren't big enough so they don't feel like it really exfoliates but for sensitive skin I really like it and I already have repurchased it. This is a repurchase uh, over and over I will repurchase this. Another holy grail face product is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer and it is looks like this. I've been using this stuff since high school. I love it. It's a nice moisturizer. It has no scent, no color. Well, it is yellow, but it has no scent or perfumes or dyes or anything that irritates your skin, so it's really nice if you have sensitive skin. It m moisturizes and melts into the skin. It doesn't leave like a greasy feeling afterwards. It comes in a nice convenient pump bottle, and I will constantly and always repurchase this. Staying with the mo moisturizer, this is the Philosophy I Hope See the World in the New Eyes little, I think it's a deluxe sample size, I don't think this is a full size. I got this in a Philosophy holiday set last year and I did really like this eye cream. It comes in a nice convenient pump, it was thick and I would put it on at night right before I went to bed and I liked it, it didn't get into my eyes and make my eyes burn or water like some other creams or lotions that I've used and that is actually an issue that I have because I do have sensitive skin but to be honest I don't know if I'd repurchase it because I haven't checked the price but it's philosophy and philosophy can run a little expensive in my opinion so I probably won't repurchase this because I know that there are eye creams that I like that are drugstore or not as expensive so maybe if I'm on a splurge or when the 20% Sephora sale happens I might get it depending so, but I did really like it, the philosophy, I hope. So the next item is a mask, and it is the Mario Badescu Super Collagen Mask, and it is a green, like a light green. It has a really clean smell. The thing I really like about Mario Badescu, um, in addition to that the products are good, is that it's really affordable, and they sell it at Ulta. I don't remember exactly how much this was, but I want to say it was like $10 or less, maybe. And I used up the whole thing, and I just, I liked it. It was a typical mask, so green, um, dried down to, you know, dry, like hard, cakey, mud-like consistency, and then you wash it off, and your skin feels nice and soft and clean afterwards. So I will repurchase this. And then this next mask is, I haven't reused, I haven't used it up, but it is kind of dried out, and it is expired, and so I don't think... I should use it. However, I do want to keep it for sentimental reasons. You're thinking a mask you want to keep for sentimental reasons? You're insane, but let me explain. It is a Blue Lagoon Iceland Silica Mud Mask. It is from Iceland. Um, I went to Iceland and it was an amazing trip. And if you have heard of the Blue Lagoon, it is a natural 
hot spring there in Iceland right outside Reykjavik which is the capital I want to say about half an hour outside and it is it's a thermal bath so it's surrounded by volcanic ash that is hardened and is it's blue like this ice crystal blue and it is it's just amazing like it's it's one of the most amazing beautiful places I've been I got this mask there at the Blue Lagoon Iceland. This is one of the things that I purchased as a souvenir and it has dried out and it says that it's only good for six months and several years. Um, so there's still product in it, you can hear it, but I just don't think I should use it. So the actual silica, the mud that's in here is from the Blue Lagoon. So while you're there, you can actually at um, use this white mud consistency silica and you can put it on your face or your body and just sit in the lagoon and then you can rinse it off and it just melts back into the water and it's all natural and everything so this is the actual mud that's from the blue lagoon that you can also use while you're there enjoying the bath so that's why it's really cool and that's why i want to keep it because when am i ever going to go back hopefully hopefully i will but i don't know i'm probably going to keep the bottle because it's a souvenir from that place. I think it's probably one of the only things that I got um, from the Blue Lagoon specifically. So moving on to other bath items. I think everything else I have here is a bath item. So I'm gonna start with just a big one and just wipe it all out all in one discussion here is Bath and Body Works. I'm always and forever going to have Bath and Body Works in my empties videos because I use it constantly. It's the soap that's in my bathroom. It is the candles that I burn. It is the soap that's in my shower. It is the lotion that I use. It's the body spray that I use. So I mean, I will always have Bath and Body Works. So the three hand soaps that I have are strawberry, garden strawberries, wild freesia, and sunshine and lemons. I have a soap at every single sink in my house and I go through this stuff pretty damn quick. So these are some that I used up. I don't know that I'll necessarily purchase each of these scents again, but I will repurchase Bath & Body Works soap. I have actually, because of all the sales that have been going on, I already have a stockpile of it. Moving on to some bath products from them, I have the Country Apple Shower Gel, Lotion, and Body Spray. But Country Apple is one of my faves. I love it. And so I always use the body products in a trifecta. So I have the Shower Gel, the Lotion, and the Body Spray all going at once. That's how I like to use them. I will always repurchase Bath & Body Works products like this. So that takes care of one big thing. Now, sticking with some bath products. I have two bath washes here. One of them is the Ulta Beauty Smoothie Apple Envy 301 Shower Gel Shampoo and Bubble Bath. And I got this, I got, they were having like buy one get, or buy two get one free or something. And I had the vanilla one, which is actually in my shower right now. In addition to some Bath & Body Works shower gel. And this one is the apple and just smells like really clean, crisp, sweet, green apple. I do like these. Um, I might repurchase them, the Ulta shower gels, if they're having a sale or something and I want to try something new. And then the next shower gel that I have is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous Burnt Brown Sugar and Karite Butter Exfoliating Body Wash. And this is what it looks like. And it has these little tiny beads like sugar scrub in it. I really like this stuff because of that. It smells, it smells amazing. It's a sweet, it's a brown sugar scrub. So it smells kind of like a sweet sugary scent. And um, I like that it has very fine granules of exfoliator in it that are like sugar. It feels like sugar, like a sugar scrub. So I like that because you can simultaneously scrub your body and clean it. And I will repurchase this because it's really good. All right. Then I have the Crabtree and Evelyn, Evelyn Rose Ultra Hand Moisturizer. I really like these hand lotions. They're nice and thick. And I don't know that I would use them during the day, but before I go to bed, I mean, they are ultra moisturizing hand therapy, so they're thick hand lotions, and they are very perfumey, so if you don't like that, then you won't like these. Also very true to scent, so the rose scent is a rose scent. It is not, it's not a sweet sugary rose scent, or like the lavender is a lavender scent. It's not a, sh a sweet lavender. It's like, it's a very, they're very true to scent, so I, I appreciate that. And then this is another thing that I always have in my empties videos, and this is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant, and it looks like that, and it's kind of, I will admit that this, it's a bit deceiving because I have the pure vanilla scent, but it doesn't really smell like vanilla, and in all honesty, this stuff smells like mothballs. It doesn't smell good at all, 
but it does work. It has no aluminum, no parabens, and it's 100% natural. So it does work for helping you not sweat as much. I can't say that it helps so much with not making you stinky because I, I do notice that if I wear this and then like put it on in the morning and then you know the next day I'll wake up and I'll work out and I will notice that I'm like smelly while I'm working out. So obviously I shower right after that and everything. I repurchased it. I don't have a backup of it because Sephora stopped selling it. Um, at least every time I've gone into Sephora, I think they might still have it online, but every time I've gone into the stores, they don't have it, which is not convenient because when I need deodorant, I need deodorant. So I've actually been using something else in its place only because I haven't been able to find it at my local Sephora. This next one is not necessarily the brand or anything, but it is a Holy Grail product. It is baby oil, and I discussed this in my Holy Grail products. This is a Holy Grail product. I love it for removing my makeup, and I don't ever hear anyone else talk about it, but... Um, I love using it on a cotton pad and just removing my eye makeup. I don't use it to remove my face makeup, but I really like it to remove my eye makeup. I will admit though, it does get in your eyes right after you apply it and make your vision a little blurry, but as soon as you wash your face, it goes away. It's not like it makes your vision blurry for like hours or anything, it's just for like a two minutes until you wash your face or whatever, but, and it's affordable and you can get it anywhere. Now some hair stuff, and this is it. This is the last of my empties video here. Now first, I'm going to show you the T Plus Therapeutic Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. This is the Up and Up brand. Um, I like to have a bottle of this. It takes me quite a while. I don't have dandruff, like a profuse issue with dandruff, but sometimes I'll get like a little itchy patch right here on my head, and so to prevent it, from turning into dandruff because if I don't take care of it, it can start to flake. I have this kind of tea plus shampoo and this is the generic up and up brand and it does work and I probably will repurchase it. I don't have any right now, but I'm not having an issue right now. So if I start to have the issue, I will get it again. And then the last three things are conditioners. So the first one is the Ulta Ultimate Pure Color Sulfate Free Conditioner. And I do like this stuff. This is the second time I've purchased it. I will repurchase it again. I think it's supposed to be like similar to the L'Oreal Sulfate Free Conditioners. It smells like mint. It feels like mint. It's very minty when you put it on. I mean, it tingles. Um, you know, I, when I put my conditioner on, I let it sit in my hair for a couple minutes. So it tingles and you can feel it. And then when you rinse it off, you know, it rinses down your body and everything and you feel a little tingly, but it's, it lasts a couple minutes. I probably will repurchase it. And then the next one is Infusium 23 conditioner. Um, I bought this, I think it was like the next two things. I think I got them both at like the dollar store or something. I know for sure I got the next, the last item at the dollar store, but this one I think I got at the dollar store and that's why I bought it. I remember really liking it when I was younger and it being like fancy, more expensive stuff, but um, I didn't really like it this time around. I mean, it took me a while to get through and usually with conditioner, I'm like, oh yeah, it's a lot of conditioner. But with this, I don't really remember liking it too much. Um, so I probably won't repurchase it. I find that I have other things that are better, so. And then the last thing that I finished, whew, it's a lot of stuff here, is the Salon Selective's 3 Minute Hair Therapy Argon Oil from Morocco. And I got this at the dollar store. It was $1 and I remembered, who remembers Salon Selective's from back in the day when it had that yummy smell? And I can't describe it, maybe it's like an apple, like a really sweet apple smell. And so I thought that this would have that, but it doesn't. It, it just smells like conditioner. I don't know. There's nothing special about it. So I won't repurchase it. Although the only reason I purchased it is because it was at the dollar store. And it, again, it was a three minute hair therapy. So it's one of those really thick conditioners that you scoop out and put on your hair and then let it sit. I just put it on the ends of my hair and let it sit. But I didn't notice that it was necessarily amazing or that my health hair felt really good or conditioned afterwards. It just felt like a normal average conditioner, but it was a dollar. So, you know, no loss there. So that is everything that I have recently used up, including the products from my products I want to use up video. So if you like my video, go ahead and like and subscribe and you will see more from me later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.